If you bought an X2 M1 laser or plan to buy one, you may already know that you don't receive a honeycomb with it. The bottom of the machine and the laser head are too close and a honeycomb is going to take too much space and it's not gonna, you're not going to be able to cut or engrave with it. But there are alternatives that I'm going to show you in this video. If you buy a honeycomb online and it's too high or too thick, you will need to take off the bottom of the machine. And for that, you had to level that honeycomb. In my case, I found a box and coincidentally it is the same height as my racers. I'm gonna use that as a level for this honeycomb so the honeycomb stays flushed over the bottom of the machine. All the details on this honeycomb are gonna be in the description below. This is almost exactly as the bottom but it's a little bit short on the sides let me show you so you can see better on the sides has a little bit of space and that's the reason i created a skirt to the machine because if you open the bottom of the machine and use this at the bottom the smokes or anything that you're cutting and lacing are gonna get out of the machine because you have the bottom open for that i created a skirt the, with elastic and velcro and I put it at uh, the bottom of the machine this helps with the lights so nobody can see the light when uh, is, uh, the machine is running and also it helps with the smoke uh, because this is a thick fabric it has plastic on the bottom so the smoke can be contained and move out of the machine when I'm using it this is the other example of the honeycomb that I made at the beginning for this one I used a disposable grill topper and with that I put it over the triangular prism that the machine brings and it works the important part is that you have to maintain that topper completely flat and it's not very thick so sometimes it moves or bend so it depends on what that type of material you're cutting or engraving I'm gonna go ahead and cut two projects uh, basic projects so you can see how they work over each of the honeycombs and these are pictures of how I built the honeycomb on and the other honeycomb that I bought the use of a honeycomb is very important when you use a laser it would help your material to stay flat and will also help you to maintain a consistency when cutting your material with your laser. I'm cutting acrylic with the grill topper and the triangular presents because beautifully this is black acrylic. Now I'm cutting cardboard with the purchased honeycomb and I use pins to maintain that piece of cardboard flat. Like, subscribe and follow me on social media for more tips and ideas on crafting and DIY. Have fun and happy crafting.